we are going to cast the movie for the Houston Astros yeah. scandal. Yes, we are. I'm ready to start with Jose Altuve. Oh, you're going right to the one of the lead yes. roles. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes. Jose Altuve, I, there's no other choice to play Jose Altuve in the Astros' 2017 cheating scandal. Does anybody want to guess? Similar size to Jose Altuve. I think dead on as far as looks. Tom Cruise. Oh, Tom Cruise. No. He's going by height. Yeah. Jerry Ferrara from Entourage. Oh, that's strong. Yeah. That's very Jerry good. Jerry Ferrara as Jose Altuve. Now, I'd have to bulk up a little bit, maybe slash HGH or steroids. And I'm not saying Altuve's on that. I'm just saying that Jerry might need to. And I think Jerry, as an actor, is willing to commit to that. But yes. Jerry will never have to take his shirt off, so it'll be okay because he... That's... Oh. And then he's got to get a tattoo on his collarbone. Yeah, okay. A... If he's really committed to the role, then he... Shia LaBeouf would get a tattoo. Yes. Yes, boy. Shia LaBeouf is my pick for Alex Bregman. <laughs> if you look at him, I think a lot of people would go with uh, Chris Pratt because he looks like every middle si middle aged white guy who's in good shape. For, but if you look at Shia LaBeouf, he's very squinty like Alex Bregman. Mm. LaBeouf, I don't know what kind squinty. of uh, glove he has. All right, now I got to come up with the commissioner. <laughs> now there's a couple of people I'm thinking of. Chris. Chris Maloney from Law and Order. Law and Order. Okay. Detective Stabler. Love okay. Him. How about him? how about him? Do you have another suggestion on who would play the commit? Yes, Eden. you know who I who's the guy from? Um, he played like the henchman in Beverly Hills Cop, and he was in Breaking Bad. Oh, that's a long time ago. Uh, hold on. Well, like the tough guy in Breaking Bad, he's kind of bald. Yeah, he kind of always plays the bald tough guy. Okay. Jonathan Banks. Jonathan Banks. Jonathan Banks right. is who I would put as so the commissioner. Jonathan Banks. <laughs> well, you kind of need a younger Jonathan Banks, but I think that's pretty spot oh, on. Oh, he played Mike. Mikey, the Mike. guy, the tough enforcer guy in Breaking Bad. <laughs> oh, I, I know. I thought it's a different guy. That guy was in... I thought there was somebody else that uh, we were looking at. That's the same guy. That's just him younger and him oh, older. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gosh. If they use the picture from Beverly younger, Hills Cop. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I need the younger version of him. Right, exactly. Yes, Paul. Yeah. Now, A.J. Hinch is easy to cast because we looked up A.J. Hinch, the former manager of the Astros, and he's always wearing a hat, even like out at night with his wife. He's about 45 years old. I'm going to go Woody Harrelson for A.J. Hinch. Woody? Likeable. Okay. Woodrow. All right. He's got shaved sides. All right. He'd crush it. All right. Woodrow. Woodrow. Okay, here's another one. Aaron Judge. Because now you have people saying that Aaron Judge lost the MVP. It was stolen from him by El Tuve. Mario. Our very own? Our very own yes. Mario. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. <laughs> if you're watching on Audience Channel 239 Direct TV or BR Live, you'll be able to see these side-by-side -side pictures here. Yes, McLovin. And then Mario can take those acting chops and play Aaron Gordon in the remake Ooh. of the 2020 Dunk Contest movies. Aaron Gordon I like and it. Aaron Judge are famously doppelgangers. We're going to find something that Mario does well. Yes, Paul. Mario is about like nine inches shorter than... Uh, we we than can shoot around Judge? that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah. Most of your actors are short. So, we'll, we'll suck it, Mario. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on VR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.